If you've ever needed to capture part of the screen to include it in a document, such as a procedural manual, instruction manual, or maybe an email message, what you've likely done is gone to the application that you need to capture, and if you're running Windows 10, click on the Action Center and choose Screen Snip. From here, you're presented with a cursor where you could select the area that you want to capture, release the mouse button, and that area has now been stored to the clipboard. You now return to the authoring document, and on the home ribbon, click the paste button. Now you can resize this image as needed. There's actually a faster way to do this. From the authoring document, in this case Word, if you go up to Insert and in the Illustrations section, click Screenshot. This will present a list of thumbnails showing all of your open applications. And whichever application you need to take a screenshot of, just click that thumbnail. So with a click, I've captured and pasted that image into my document. If you only want to capture part of a screen, going up to Insert, Screenshot, and clicking a thumbnail, is going to give you the entire application image as it's displayed in that window. Now at this point you could go up and do something like crop and then you could drag in so that you're only displaying the area that you need. And then from here if you need to resize to compensate you can. But to save several of those steps I'm going to delete this image. From the authoring application if you switch to the application that you wish to capture and then return back to the authoring application Windows remembers the last application you were examining. In our case it was the weather app. Now if I go up to Insert, Screenshot, instead of clicking any of these thumbnails, I'm going to click Screen Clipping. Once I click this, Windows will automatically revert back to the last examined application. The screen will wash out, and now you're presented with the crosshair similar to what Screen Clipping gave you. I can now drag a diagonal box around the area of interest, release, and now that's the only part that goes into the document. I can resize, and that saved me the effort of having to capture the entire screen and then crop it. So down here, if I went to Excel and I only wanted to capture the state of this pivot table, I could return to Word, go to Insert, Screenshot, but instead of clicking the thumbnail for Excel and capturing the entire image, I'll go to Screenshot, Screen Clipping, that will return me to Excel, wash the screen, and then I'll highlight the area that I'm interested in. And that's how you can create a screen capture with a click. So Insert, Screenshot, capture the full application from a thumbnail click, or capture part of a screen using screen clipping. Just remember to have always selected the application you want to capture from before coming to Word and choosing screen clipping. That way you'll return to that application. Thanks for watching, and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.